Greetings and welcome to Nathan Nile Official. If you have never seen my face in a video before, my name is Nathan Nile. This is my personal channel where I upload vlogs, reviews, and anything else that happens to catch my fancy. Today I'm going to be talking about a really old anime called Kare Kano, His and Her Circumstances. This anime has been out for a while. It came out when I was in high school. It was suggested to me by a friend. And my overall opinion of it is that it is really, really good. Off of the top of my head, I'm going to mention that there is one thing that really bugs the hell out of me about this show, and it's just the fact that at the beginning of every single episode, they feel the need to recap the entire damn series. So I guess you can really start this show at any point in time and you'll know everything that happened. Because it, it, it gets to a point where in some of the later episodes, the entire first half of the episode is just re-explaining the entire season that you had just watched if you're marathoning through it. So yeah, this is one of the anime that you don't have to marathon through it, and in fact it might be better if you do space it out, out a little just because some of these damn recaps can get quite annoying. But other than that one major flaw, I honestly enjoyed it. It's a really great anime and it's got really great characters, you know, and you, it's a really honest look at just life. The story revolves around a high school girl. She's basically perfect in every way. You know, she's beautiful. She's got the best grades. Unfortunately, it's all a lie. And that's the basis of this entire story. You've got this girl, she loves being praised, she loves being the center of attention. So at school, you know, she always, she look, she's got, she's just amazingly beautiful, she's incredibly smart, always gets the highest grades in school. But at home, she's a total slob, never wears makeup, always runs around in her PJs or sweats, you know, spends all her time studying so that she can earn that top spot, specifically so that people can praise her for how amazing she is. The story truly begins when there's another boy at her school who he's basically, he's the male version of her. He's incredibly handsome, he's incredibly smart, and one day he ha she happens to just, you know, she's not being careful enough and he ends up finding out her secret. And that's where all of this begins. To make a long story short and try to avoid spoilers, uh, they start dating and slowly they start becoming their true selves, putting on less of an act and just being, you know, more of themselves. You know, she starts, she's studying less and she's worrying less about her looks and she starts getting more of a social life, hanging out with friends. You know, we learn that she has a bit of a temper and she can be clumsy at times. And yo, know, she even though she's smart, she's not at the top the top of her class anymore. And that's and that's the entire basis of these stories. It's it's been, it's just a high school story about two people just discovering who they really are. You know, as they fall in love with each other, they start changing into different people. And then you, they also meet new people who come into their lives and change them. And you know, you just. It's just really, it's a great story that it centers entirely on character development. It's a very funny story with a lot of jokes scattered throughout, but it also gets appropriately serious at times. And it's just a really, just a really very well made story. And it's just unfortunate, uh, the story behind this. It's only one season because the original author of the manga didn't like how the anime they, the studio was focusing more on the comedy than the romance, and so she would not authorize them to make another season. So this anime got cut way too short. And the, also, the, the, after that decision was made, the director left like before they actually finished the series. And there is a very noticeable difference you know, from, one, from the beginning episodes to some of the ending ones. But overall, I still say this is one of the top anime of all time. I'll also say that this is one of the few anime where I've also read the manga, and the anime does not live up to the manga. The manga is amazing. So if you're into reading manga as well as at watching the anime, then this is definitely one that, that is worth reading as well. And I say this is an anime that it's one of the one of the early ones that I looked at. Of course, like throughout my life I saw some of the major titles like DBZ, Gundam Wing, NGE, all of the big major productions. But this was one of the first non-mainstream anime that I saw, and I say that just because, like, you know, like I said, just about everyone I know here has seen DBZ, just about everyone that I know has seen Pokemon, 
very few people out have seen Kari Kano except for those hardcore anime watchers like me. At least in my specific area of the world, people who do not regularly follow anime have not seen or heard of his and her circumstances. So for me, this was one of the ones that got me interested in anime in the first place, and I think it is definitely an excellent starting point for anyone who's interested in getting into anime because it's not too over the top. A bit of the comedy gags go kind of off the rails from time to time. But for the most part, it's a very well grounded in reality story just about, you know, high schoolers who are growing, you know, learning more about themselves as they go through every day, just trying to figure out who they are and like where they really fit into this world and like what they want their life to be. It's just a really great story. I really cannot say enough about it. You know, if you've never seen any anime before, this is a good place to start. And if you've seen a lot of anime before but you haven't heard of this one, then you definitely need to go back and check this out. And if you've seen this anime before, then just feel free to watch it again because why not? It's a really great show. So yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you're enjoying my Valentine's edition of Media Monday. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to click that like button. Feel free to leave comments below. Just whatever crosses your mind. It doesn't even have to be about anything I said in this video. You can comment on George Bush or Wrinkle in Time. I'll reply, I swear. If you're interested in seeing more of my videos, you can always click the subscribe button and you'll be notified anytime I upload something new. And until the next time you see my face in a video, my name is Nathan Lyle. I hope you have a great day, week, month, year, whenever I see you again.